I have never met in person, but I have seen him on Instagram. Ko Davide Tokengoa, ko ao he tangata e hau Italia, ko lua he hululua o ko tauhanga. Ko ao e hoho o i hakatakitaki ki tohu nga ngana toke lau. Ko ao hiahia lahi ki te nga ngana ngali o toke lau. I was very surprised. And so I asked him if, if I could have a chat. I've seen him speak a little bit of te reo Māori. I've seen him speak Hawaiian. It's beautiful to see him speaking our language. Maloni. Maloni, Maloni. I'm so impressed at how quickly you pick up languages. How many languages do you know? About six or seven languages. Mm. About currently, I could say currently. Uh, I've explored, since I call myself a language explorer, I, I do not call myself a polyglot. Mm -hmm. uh, I've explored about uh, between 50 and 100 languages. So obviously Ngana Tokelau is the best language of all of them. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites. Yes, 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 yes. I always say this when I when I go live, for instance. What are your favorite languages? And I always mention Ngana Tokelau. Yes, it's do one of my you? favorites. Oh, yes, okay. I always do. Um, it, it is yeah. not just because I'm talking to you. It is true. Oh, it's true. Okay. <laughs> are there any tips you can give people who are trying to like tap into a language? Yes. First of all, you should get surrounded by the language. If you can watch movies, if you if you can watch videos, listen to podcasts, if there is any, or even Instagram pages. You can follow Instagram pages. The more you listen to the language, the more you mimic the sounds of the language, the more you pick it up. And then I recommend a small notebook to, to keep track of all the things you learn. This is my Tokelau. Uh, I'm gonna talk a lot of notebooks. So I have all the, the grammar. Yes, the grammar, the dictionary I created myself. This is all uh, all the things I tried to learn at some point in time. Wait, 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 wait. Can you show me more of that? What's going on in there? How did how did you start putting yes. it together? Yes. I started uh, studying from PDF files. So this is the, the alphabet. And then like the basic sentences. Talohani, maloni, eamaikoe, heololo, kuaelele. All the basic all the basic sentences and phrases. And then I have some grammar, for instance, like prepositions, then the demonstratives. So I kind of I kind of studied the language in, in uh, like thoroughly, or at least that's what I tried to do. Okay, and so you, you drew from like the PDFs from the Ministry of Education website, and what else did you use to draw on? Especially, well, uh, Tebaka's music. <laughs> that was like my first source. That's how I came into contact with uh, Tokelau as a language. And I started like um, jotting down the verses of their songs uh, in this notebook. So I have some songs written here, studying the words and the meaning of the words and the sentences. That, that's how I did it. Do you have a book like that for every language? Well, yes. For instance, this one I'm preparing right now. This is a little bigger because it's the only one I found. But this is for, um, it's called the Sami language. It's an indigenous language spoken in Lapland. So Finland, Norway, Sweden, what a fun passion. It's like endless, eh? Because of all the languages you can yes, just Yes, a thousand. But it's, but it's very beautiful. It's very profound. The, the, the very act of learning your own language. For instance, I delve deeper into my language, Italian. And doing that made me feel so connected, much more connected to, to the land and the history. Mm. And that would be the same, I guess, for, for, for people like the Tokelau, for instance. Learning Angana Tokelau could connect you to the history, to, to the people itself, to the land, and to the language, which is amazing. It's a wonderful language.